Hey, this is Tom Drogi again from Stamp Auction Network, and welcome back to 10 Insider Tips to Buying and Selling Stamps at Auction. Today we're on tip number eight, where we look at the sweet spots. These are interesting observations based on the price of the stamp alone. So auction firms tell me all the time that the hardest stamp to sell is the stamp in the $500 to $1,000 range. That explanation is that the 500 stamp is out of reach to the majority of collectors who are either starting up or collecting on a budget. Meanwhile, those that are building the big collections have already picked up those stamps and don't need them anymore. So there is this never-never land where a few collectors are crossing. So if that's you, thinking about think about using that to your advantage. Bid lower, make offers after the auction, and if you do buy at a show, you have the leverage to make an offer and stick to it. So let's just talk about the $500,000 stamp. Now, I explained kind of the reasoning why you should go lower, but um, I want to give you another reason. It's also in the range where a dealer may be buying the stamp to put it in stock, okay? And in that case, it's sitting in a stock. He's not going to be able to flip it right away, so he's going to mark that stamp up at no less than 2x and often 3x. So you'll often see stamps sell at auction and then find them in, an, in a dealer's retail stock for two times and three times. So that's another reason to get to look at this price range. Now, the other range, you might be fear uh, the, the premium stamps. These are the high condition rarity stamps. These are the top 10 stamps in their category. They're often going for multiples, big multiples of their catalog value. So you may fe fear that that's not a stamp you want to be involved with. Um, I would encourage you to think that again, because um, these stamps are valuable in the price range that they're offered. And I might say, you know, it's between $1,000 and $15,000, but in that range. After that, you're getting into the range where you don't have enough demand. You're really dealing with just a few collectors that are building the million dollar sales. So there is a, a point where you, where this stops becoming true. But in the $1,000 to $15,000 range, I want you to just think about this. Though they may seem like they're going for astronomical prices, they can be really good deals. And for this reason, they're either being sold to another collector, okay, or they're selling to a dealer who has a buyer in mind. And that stamp, in that case, is going to be flipped for at least a 25% premium. So you should not be afraid of buying these stamps in this in this range and buying them at auction is your best bet for getting them at a price for which you can get the money back when you go to sell. Remember though you just you do want to be buying stamps that have demand uh, not really scarce stamps that no one's really interested in even though they may be rare. All right the last thought is buying unsold. Yes yes and no you can go back to the auction company after an auction and offer him something less than the uh, opening price. Um, some auction houses encourage it, some don't. And if you hear them say it at the auction floor, then you know they do. But some generally don't just in, for the reason that they feel it's counterproductive. For instance, Cherry Stone just doesn't do it. Don't call them up and ask them to buy an unsold after the sale. They're not going to do it. They think it limits people's bidding during the sale. So that's it. That's um, tips on the sweet spots. And uh, we're near the end of our 10. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Have a good day.